Minimalism is a movement that has become extremely popular. I mean, does it spark joy? Question mark. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Now, how does that translate into food? And how many types of breakfast can we do with only three ingredients? Twenty twenty was a crazy year for absolutely everyone, and I'm still carrying some extra fat and some extra stress from that year. So I made a commitment this year to just try to be more mindful in terms of what I'm eating、um, and just get back on track with my health and fitness, just to feel better. Talking about minimalism, I'm I'm a huge fan of this movement because we tend to live. Nowadays, in excess, we eat too much. We have too much things.、Um, it comes to a point where you know you don't even know why you want certain things, or does your body really need all that food that you eat every day? And minimalism in food makes a lot of sense because when it comes to healthy eating, what you're trying to do is simplify the ingredients that you have,、um, so that you can really control the amounts that you're putting in and keep the portions exactly how、um, they're supposed to be. Not only that, but by reducing the amount of ingredients that you put in your food, you make the dish much faster. It's quicker. It's more convenient, and most of the time, it's actually cheaper. But the overall benefit is that it actually is healthier if you use healthy ingredients, obviously. So today, I'm going to show you how to make breakfast recipes using only three ingredients per dish. They're really quick to make. They're all quite healthy. And if I didn't tell you they only had three ingredients, you probably wouldn't even question it, which is pretty cool when it comes to healthy eating. When you think about it, there are tons of three-ingredient breakfasts that you're probably already making without calling them three-ingredient breakfasts. Something like I don't know, half a cup of your favorite frozen berries with half a cup of frozen bananas that you've kept in the freezer,、um, a little bit of some favorite nut milk, almond milk, oat milk, whatever your fancy is.、Um, usually, all equal combinations, and that already is your basis for a morning smoothie. Now, to this, you can add some protein powder, some peanut butter, and tons of other pantry ingredients that you might. Have,、um, but already that because it is so dense in terms of nutrition and micronutrients is already a really healthy start. So all I need to do now is blend this. Just passing that, and when I like to blend this, I like to blend it for at least、um, two to three minutes. Even though it's already blended, it just aerates it more and kind of makes it fluffier. Don't you love it when you pour something out and it's like the exact quantity of that glass? Three ingredient breakfast, really healthy, really dense in nutrition, lots of carbohydrates, perfect before a workout, maybe like two hours before a workout, just to give you that extra power. And obviously, delicious. Another popular one that a lot of you are probably making,、um, but again, we're not calling it a three ingredient breakfast most of the time. Are overnight oats really easy to make、um, and quite simple? So once again, what I'm showing you here is like the basis, and then from here you can add. Uh, chia seeds, flax seeds, nuts,、um, honey, agave, uh, fruits. Uh, fruits I would recommend usually adding the next day.、Um, and yeah, so it's just really versatile, really easy to make. You can use tons of different kind of milks. You can even just use water if you want to.、Um, and again, same thing. I usually do is just equal. Sorry, I'm making a mess right now.、Um, equal amounts of oats and milk. And don't worry if it looks too liquid here.、Um, it's basically the oats are going to absorb that liquid, and this is going to become more of like a porridge. If you're wondering what kind of oats are best to use for overnight oats, actually like rolled oats. And remember, these are already processed and already have gone through a cooking process, so you can eat rolled oats raw because they're pretty much processed and cooked already.、Um, so by leaving it to absorb the liquid overnight, we'll just make it softer. And make you feel like you've actually cooked it on the stove top. Give this a good mix. And now, really up to you. What do you want to add? Since I have it here already, I'm going to go ahead and add some peanut butter. And those are my three ingredients. Mix that in. Forget about it, and、I'll、leave it in the fridge for at least eight hours. So the point of me showing you the smoothie and the overnight oats and not really spending too much time on them is because a lot of people know how to make them already.、Um, but when we're talking about three ingredient breakfast and we're talking about like minimalist cooking, they're kind of like the kings of it. Yes, a smoothie is actually considered a meal replacement. Now I'm going to show you some slightly more creative three ingredient breakfasts, starting with our sweet potato toast. So yes, you can toast a sweet potato. <laughs> 
obviously. Um, I've boiled this sweet potato very quickly for five minutes. It just makes it slightly more tender. Um, then I cut a bottom section here so I can lay it flat on my board without it moving too much and without me cutting my fingers. And then we're gonna go ahead and then just make some toast slices. So I'm gonna remove that first one. You can use that for whatever. It's still a little raw inside. And then we're gonna cut about one centimeter toast slices. Too thick and it won't cook all the way down. Too thin and it will be too mushy. Yeah, that one is perfect. About a third of an inch is what we're looking for right here. Can you see that? I don't know if my camera is gonna wanna focus on that. It's way too thin. Once you have your slices, drizzle with some extra virgin olive oil and some salt. This goes into the oven at 200 centigrade for about 10 minutes or just until cooked. You don't want this to be falling apart. Okay, so you don't want these to be too overcooked in a sense where you won't be able to kind of hold it with your hand or else it's not really toast. But you want them to be obviously cooked enough, right? So if you have a little bit of a give like this, Ooh, that was hot, absolutely fine. Since I'm still in Australia, might as well serve it with some avocado and a fried egg. Okay, this is gonna get messy. Break that egg, perfectly cooked. Try us to spread it as much as possible over the avocado and the toast. Now the question is, does it eat like toast? No, it doesn't, it's sweet potatoes. <laughs> but you should be able, if you cooked it properly, to pick it up with your hands, just like this, one big bite. Mm, it's so good, it has all those breakfast flavors that you'd be looking for. So for people who are looking for a more nutritious carbohydrate source in the morning versus a slice of bread or sourdough, um, obviously something like a sweet potato has more vitamins and micronutrients than any bread that you might have. More oats. We've all probably made the famous two ingredient pancake with a banana and an egg. High in protein and good fats, but not great if you're looking for something substantial. So by using cottage cheese, you have a more complete macronutrient dense pancake. Just place your rolled oats, cottage cheese, and eggs in a blender and blitz until you have a pancake batter. Simply cook this with a little bit of butter. You're done. You can eat these as is, but if you have fruit and peanut butter lying around, why not? You can always get a little more creative. If you're being extra healthy, don't add anything. If you want something a little sweeter, go ahead and add one teaspoon of maple syrup. That's never really hurt anyone. So obviously, as you can see, we added uh, a couple more ingredients. The three ingredients was the base, um, and then it's up to you if you want to build upon them. You can have the pancakes absolutely alone by themselves. They're still going to be very delicious, but if you do want to kick a sweetness, I'm sure you have something in your pantry that won't add too much calories, like maybe a little bit of honey, a little bit of agave, a little bit of maple syrup, some fresh fruit. I had some raspberries. You can use some bananas and things like that. Um, just something to make it slightly sweeter. For me, peanut butter and butter just kind of just makes it like a better experience. Experience, but it doesn't make it unhealthy. Again, with calories, it's all about kind of like balance and knowing exactly what you're putting in. Let's try it. Mm. This is so good. This doesn't even taste healthy. You've heard of green eggs and ham. Let's make green eggs and steak. First thing we're gonna do is quickly blanch about half a cup of spinach. This really just brings out the natural color of the spinach and it's a one minute process, does not take any time at all. 
Now we're gonna quickly just strain that and that goes straight into our blender. Three eggs with the spinach. Now, if you wanted to add more ingredients, you could. You could add things like parsley, tender stem herbs like coriander. Um, you can even put some chives if you want to. Um, there's a bunch of different options in terms of just making this a bit more hearty if you want, um, but this is it in its simplest form. Salt and pepper with the eggs. Now we're just gonna blend this all together. You basically wanna blend this until it's it's ground as fine as possible in terms of the spinach, and you get this beautiful kind of like really, really green um, color. Arguably, eating protein and fat in the morning will keep you full the longest. Grab a hot pan and fry off your steak. I'm using a grass-fed strip loin here today. Season with salt. Cook until desired doneness. While that's cooking, we're just gonna cook this like a French omelet quickly with some butter. Make sure to check out my omelet video. Season to taste. Take your steak off and rest for five minutes. Let's give this a taste. Perfectly cooked, medium rare steak. Our green eggs should be nice and fluffy inside. You can make this runnier if you want to as well. Completely up to you. Mm. This is so good. I could eat this every day.